Hello folks, just testing, make sure everyone can hear me okay here. And then we'll get started. Yep, that sounds good to me. Well, hello then, folks. Thanks for joining me today. And yes, we're playing Final Fantasy XV here on the PC. I've already put a couple of videos that were pre-recorded uh, pre and uploaded those onto YouTube. So you might have checked those out. You might not have done. Either way, we're going to continue on with that same playthrough today. Just make sure that I'm comfortable here before we get started. And I have had to make a few uh, changes to the setup from previous live streams since we're playing a new game here. So hopefully everything's going to work okay. I might have to adjust a few overlays on the fly though. Gabriel, welcome. Yes, there is a demo. It's 21 gigabytes in size and it contains the whole of chapter one, including, I believe, the optional hunts as well that you can undertake. So... A few people have complained about how it's running on their systems and I have actually had a few issues myself with screen tearing even though we've got VSync enabled. But hopefully that's just teething issues for the demo and we'll be looking for those to be fixed before the main release of the game. Just checking something here. So as always guys, I'm going to be streaming this session on YouTube and on Twitch, so you can watch on the platform of your choice. And I don't know if that screen tearing is coming through onto the video or not, it doesn't look like it is, which is lucky for you guys because it's absolutely atrocious here. But just to clarify, I've tried this with and without V-Sync enabled, at the moment it is enabled, and I don't have G-Sync enabled. So whatever's causing this, I have no idea, but I'm hoping it's going to be fixed, as I say, before the game itself comes out, which is March the 6th. Hello, Hugo. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, matey? time. Hammerhead is like no garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. Ah, <sighs> I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. Huh? There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! <laughs> uh, thanks for the offer, but... Once we're back in the Crown City, I think I'd better score my own wheels. Damn it. Ah! 
None the worse for wear. Yes. Could use a bite to eat. It works for me. They knocked. You coming or what? all by myself. Done in a minute. Time to spare. Yes. Nothing to it. Guys, we got a little problem over yeah. here. Cool. Good to take care of. Whoa, oh, that wasn't part of the deal. <laughs>
Testing, testing. Hello, can you guys hear me now? Can you hear me now, folks? Testing, testing. Hello, can you hear me? Oh, I hope so. I'm going to try opening the game up again now, seeing if that's going to affect everything or not. In a good way, I mean. Yeah, so for those watching on uh, whatever it is, archive later, I was just live streaming and the microphone wasn't working, so now we're trying it again. Oh good, everyone's saying yes. So, I'm still using Elgato. Hopefully we'll have some more luck with it this time. That was really annoying. The thing is, everything was set up correctly. I'm not sure why the sound wasn't coming through. When I had it working for that extra minute, before it all died, all I did was unplug the mic and plug it back in again. Right, well, I can see that it's still working, although the mic levels are jumping up quite high, so hopefully it's not blasting your ears off. I'm not sure why th things were happening the way they were then, that was really annoying. <laughs> so, sorry about that. But let's try this one again. So, this is going to be take two. 
take two of our first Final Fantasy XV streams. A good job this is a demo, isn't it? It gives us a chance to iron out the wrinkles of live streaming a new game. And I had it all nicely set up so you guys didn't have the loading screens to watch. But alas, it didn't work as I wanted it to. Oh, isn't it? It gives oh, so if you heard that, that was my voice then off my phone. Okay, well I think we're okay now. I can just about read your chat messages as well. I've had to minimise Elgato to a smaller screen so that I can still see my mic levels on my second monitor. That way if it does break, I should hopefully be notified. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to assume everything's working correctly now. And we're going to continue on here with the demo. And I was saying so much to you. I really wanted to give you lots of information about this uh, for like 10 minutes or so. Until, of course, I discovered that, hey, it wasn't working and you couldn't hear a word I was saying. Hello, Abhijit. Welcome, mate. You didn't miss much, actually. We had mic problems. Everything went wrong. And I had to... Uh, Spend 10 15 minutes or so fixing it all. But hopefully, now everything is as it should be. So. Oh, Fern Gully, thanks for following on Twitch there. It's appreciated very much. So, this stream is more of an experimental stream anyway. I have had to change a few settings in order to uh, get another game working here. And even though I'm streaming on PC. I'm actually set up through hardware capture rather than software capture, which is the way I was recording Final Fantasy XII. And that's because Final Fantasy XV is quite intensive on the computer hardware. And so I didn't want to hinder it even further by using OBS oh, Studio oh, or something. Nice Mazuo, hello. How are you doing? And I like this. Multiple hunts at once. I've never actually done a Final Fantasy XV playthrough where this has been something I've been able to do. Since when the patch came out on console that let you pick up more than one hunt at once, I'd already completed the game. And one of the things I was saying when my mic wasn't working was how bad it was really that in Final Fantasy XII you could pick up multiple hunts. But then in Final Fantasy XV, you could only get one at a time. It seemed like a real downgrade, to be honest. If you all liked it, come on back. Are you still hearing weird sounds? What sounds are you hearing, Abhijit? Let me just check my volumes here before we go any further. Make sure that everything's still okay. Hmm, should be. Ah, oh, Nazi well, thanks for that feedback. Appreciate the fact you like that guide. Yeah, if you have any issues, folks, with this stream, please let me know because things don't seem to be working as well as we would normally expect them to. I mean, it could just be to do with the fact that this is a demo, and so it's quite uh, buggy. Phone feedback. Okay, I did have my phone next to my microphone, my mobile, but it doesn't normally cause feedback, but I've moved it out of the way now. So let me know if you hear that again. But yeah, guys, uh, for those joining us, we've had a few problems with the stream today. Uh, for that, I do apologise. We had no mic to start with, which made no sense because everything was set up correctly. But restarting Elgato and starting the stream again has seemed to have fixed that problem. And then somebody, Abhijit, just recorded yeah. some strange sounds. But we'll try and get through this stream now, and then I'll have a deeper look at some of these issues <laughs> before we next go live. Alright, so we're going to drive to the rest area. Over here. 
everything in order. One thing I have noticed as well is that the map, in fact, looks different. I don't know whether it's because it's the demo, and so lots of areas are closed hey, off. Yeah. But the PS4 version has a different map. Well, the same map, but a different, like, graphical uh, layout to it. Than it does here on the PC version. Change your mind. Let's go. Awesome! Nap time! And yeah, you do need to nap at night time early on. Otherwise you get slaughtered by the demons that patrol the areas. I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! Uh, uh, thanks for the offer, but once we're back in the Crown City, I think I'd better score my own wheels. Morning, Sabrina. Mr. Zombie Cat, thank you for following on Twitch. Yeah, hi, folks. Are those just joining us? Uh, to be honest, you missed the drama by coming on at this point, which is probably a good thing. We had all sorts of stream issues a few moments ago, and things aren't perfect even now. They knocked. You coming or what? So if you're not familiar with Final Fantasy XV, you have to stay at a caravan or at a campsite or a hotel in order to get the experience that you've been building up since you last rested. And I've actually got a video uploading as well. Uh, well, actually, it's finished uploading, but it's not gone live yet. Showing some of the graphical differences between the PC version and the console version. And they are not actually that subtle, in all honesty. There's some quite major differences. So keep a lookout for that. In particular, some of the enemies and stuff that are furry or hairy. Look substantially better now on the PC version. Right, and I have actually gone ahead and purchased some musical soundtracks from older Final Fantasy games. We should be able to listen to those while we're in the actual regalia. Everything in order. Yep. All right. Hi, Red Sharky. It does, doesn't it? It looks pretty awesome as long as you can get it running smoothly. And a few people have mentioned that they really struggle to do that. I'm just trying to figure out how to change the radio soundtracks here. Because the controls are completely different than what I'm used to. Which is really annoying because I'm using exactly the same controller as on my PS4 playthrough. But here on PC, my PS4 controller has been detected as an Xbox controller, despite the fact this game is supposed to have DualShock support on PC. And all of the uh, controls are mapped completely weirdly so there is a way to just skip ahead soundtracks but I'm not finding it here ah oh, Final Fantasy 4 that's quite appropriate since I've just done a Final Fantasy 4 playthrough as well <laughs> that was quite a fun game actually Final Fantasy 4 very traditional Yeah, Seamass, this is not traditional, really, in that, you know, Final Fantasy sense. So much has changed. And I think that threw a lot of people off. Might want to stock up on but then, in a sense, so did Final Fantasy XII when that came out in 2006. It changed so much from the Final Fantasy formula that a lot of people were unsure about it. But nowadays, people love that game. And I'll admit, when this game first came out, it did take me quite a bit of getting used to. Uh, but now that I have got used to it, I actually do find a lot of enjoyment with it. And the other thing as well, is that this game's like 12 months old now. It's had a lot of patches, a lot of updates to it that have improved it. So if you've not played it before, then the Royal Edition or Windows Edition is going to be the definitive version of the game. And, you know, it is a much better game than it was a few months ago. 
So we need to speak to the motel manager. And we can just go ahead and see our quest log here. It's a little bit MMO-like. We'll get story quests and optional hunt quests appear. Yeah, Final Fantasy IV is fun, isn't it, Sabrina? I've only played the remake version that was uh, Nintendo DS, I think, but came to Steam and iOS. So I'm going to just speak to this guy, I guess. All the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. Oh, you Greg. Welcome, mate. Just sit tight. Yeah, by the way, guys, sorry if things aren't working absolutely perfectly today. We had some major problems a few minutes ago. Umbra. With the microphone. And I think I fixed it, but I need to have a proper look at it after this stream. How do you always know, boy? Oh, that's brilliant, Greg. I've got it running quite smoothly as well now, actually. So a lot of people have been complaining, but if you adjust the settings, nice flower. it's not too bad. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. So I do want to live stream the main game when it comes out. One of the reasons I'm streaming the demo is actually just to iron out any wrinkles before the main game is released. And there has been some already. So I'm glad that we've had the opportunity to try and correct those today, rather than uh, when the actual real game is out and about. All set. Take care out there. Mighty, thank you for your I feedback. And uh, Nazir, well, thank you for subscribing on YouTube there. You yeah, thanks for that feedback. I'm glad you like the videos. Now that our work's done, now I really appreciate that. Sometimes they can... Uh, you know, it'd be quite hard work to make, especially because walkthroughs tend to require quite a bit of dedication. So, you know, being motivated by those kinds of comments really does keep me going, thank you. Yeah, this is even more of an open world game, I would say, than Final Fantasy XII. Okay, so story-wise, we're supposed to be heading to the Golden Key, but before we do that, there should be some optional hunts we can undertake. And this demo, by the way, guys, Contains the first full here. chapter of the game. So everything you can do in chapter one. I did read that the side quests were not available. But to be honest. So far for me they do seem to have been. Although Dave's not here. Isn't Dave normally here? Maybe the side quests aren't available. So uh. You think in a fairy tale, Lady Lunafreya back to the Crown City? Nah, I don't need to rush to happily ever after. Wow, still can't believe you're actually tying the knot, dude. How does it feel now that? It's oh, welcome back, Abishit. Glad you got your problem sorted. Ah, come on, you can't fool me. Welcome to the Crow's Nest. You want something to eat? Yeah, the map definitely looks different to me than it does on the PS4. Definitely does. I don't know whether that's because this is the demo, or if they're going for a slightly new style for it for the PC and Royal Edition versions. Maybe it changed recently on the PS4 in a patch or something. These are some pretty tough customers. Good luck to you. Uh, the demo onwards is the full first chapter of the game, so there's no timed part of it or anything. You can spend as much time in it as you want. You don't get kicked out. But it does end after you've completed the first chapter. Though all of the hunts and that that you can normally get in the first chapter are also available. Good luck, boys. I get in a horse. So since it's become night time, we might want to take on that hunt. And I really have to get used to these controls. So... I'm using the precise controller I used on my PS4 playthrough. I thought that'd be good. I'll stick this into the PC and I'll know exactly what I'm doing. 
Yeah, right. Yeah, it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. For some reason, despite the fact this game is supposed to have DualShock support, you can see it's reading it as an Xbox controller, first of all. And secondly, all the buttons are mapped really strangely, which is really annoying. Perritin, hello mate. How you doing? The roads are perilous at night. Let us wait for morning. Yeah, this section does have that kind of uh, but there's a thin line Western American feel to it, doesn't it, Abhijit? Although there's a good wide variety of different environments in this game so not everything is going to be in this particular setting and I haven't got a food buff at the minute which probably would have been helpful Ignis, we're going. On my way. so what we can do is go ahead and take on this hunt which only appears at night the problem with doing so though is the fact that uh, you tend to get really tough enemies come out at night that until much later on in the game, you're probably not going to be prepared to take on and destroy. Yeah, because the game's so different, Greg, it does take a bit of getting used to, especially if you've played a lot of Final Fantasy in the past. I think that did throw a lot of people off with this game when they first played it. But if you stick it out and get used to it, then there is a lot of fun to be had here. And the combat system, yes, at times it feels quite clunky. And sometimes the camera uh, doesn't do you any favours. But it's also quite a complex system as well. And you can have a lot of choices to make with it. Oh, lost my stamina there because I was concentrating on chatting. There's also a trick you can do with the stamina gauge to instantly replenish it. I'll see if I can do it before we get to the campsite here. Oh, I don't want to go to the campsite, actually. I meant to the hunt. So if we reset round about now, there we go, you can refill it instantly. Yeah, and I haven't given up, by the way, guys, on streaming Final Fantasy XII. I just want to get a bit of uh, FF15 gameplay in. While people are interested in it since the demo's just come out and the game's coming out in just over a week's time. Next week, in fact. So somewhere around here, we're in the yellow circle now. The goblins should so show their faces. Oh, there they are. So we've got one out of seven. Did you complete the game, did you, Abhijit? Did you play it through to the end? So we can go for Ignis Enhancement. And he should give us light or fire. Something that these enemies are weak to. And I know I'm not playing superbly here, guys. But as I say, the controls are completely not what I'm used to. I keep pressing X to attack. I don't know why I do that, in fact. I don't even do that on PS4. Yeah, it was a little bit pervertin. I don't want to say I'm done with it, but I'm taking a break from it for a little bit. I probably will get back to it at some point, though, I'd imagine. Right, we need to rest. Look, I have to think just to bring the map up now because all the controls are different. Hopefully, we can remap them a little bit easier or they'll work better as default once the game comes out. Uh, the magic is actually a really powerful system, Greg. I can understand it's a little bit of a frustrating experience uh, how to use magics and you have to store it in flasks and draw the elements it's a little bit like Final Fantasy 8 in that sense uh, but you can actually do a lot of stuff with it once you get used to it even early on in the game 
So talking of which, we'll go and absorb some of the magics here. You can do all sorts of things like tying it to experience, for example, so that when you cast spells, you level up very, very quickly. And in fact, some of the best grinding methods early on in this game can take you many, many levels ahead of where you, you, know, you need to be at by using the magic system. So it is quite interesting. I don't want to be walking around too much here because if we start getting enemies, uh, we're not really going to be able to deal with them. So let's head over to the camp point, which I have marked. <laughs> the demo is about 20 gig, which is chapter one. Mm. And yeah, the full game I've heard is going to be substantially here. more than that. So I probably won't be playing it until the day after it's released. It's going to have to download out. overnight. Oh, that's good then, Hugo. Uh, to get old Noctis, do you mean when he's got his beard? Uh, I don't know if you can. Initially. Maybe if you do a new game plus, then you can do so. Or you just have to play through the story until you get to that point. I've also had a look. There's no outfits with the demo. I'm not sure uh, what you'll get with the uh, main game on release. We can go for the casual outfit. But we seem to have better stats with the Prince's uh, outfits and more health. Yeah, I've got 500 gig SSDs. Uh, but I've got uh, my Steam folder set up on a mechanical hard drive, which unfortunately is not a good thing for this game because this game really benefits from having an SSD due to the loading times. It could crash right here. You can remain awake long enough to eat. Mm, CMS, I have heard that the game's going to be over 100 gigabytes. I just really hope that Square give us a preload option. Otherwise, we're not going to be playing it, at least I'm not, for a day or two after the release. Which would be really quite annoying, but... Sadly, historically, Square aren't known for giving preloads on their Final Fantasy releases. They never did with 10 remaster or 12 remaster recently. Just like my father's stories about the big road trip. Even the car's the same. Think the king and his men knew how to party like we do? Hard to imagine. It's always so much fun. And don't forget they were in the middle of a war. Not my kind of party. So what we can do, at least... Yeah. Put I'm not sure if we can do it yet, actually. Is return to car. Oh, yes, we can. That way we don't have to keep running back manually, which is a bit of a help. But before we do that, let's just have a look at our magic oh, yeah. flask. Uh, if we go to, just got to remind myself here, is it Elements, see? Yeah, we can make something like Lightning or Ice Magic. So let's try Ice, shall we? And we can't mix a weapon in with it yet. So not a weapon, an item. But later on we should be able to, and that can actually increase the potency of it or add some effects to it. So they did know how to party. Uh, Final Fantasy XII was about 20... Oh, right, Seamus just says about 20-something gig, yeah. Uh, why me? Welcome to the stream. How long is the demo? It's not a time demo, so you can play as long as you want, which is nice, and it contains the first full chapter of the game, including the optional side quests and hunts. So it's quite substantial, actually, for a demo. Since chapter one is probably perhaps one of the longest chapters of the game. So it's going to give you a real good test to see, you know, how the game's going to run when it actually comes out. And if you look at the Steam forums, there's a lot of people moaning that they're having issues with, uh, well, just with frame rates and all sorts, really. So hopefully Square will use the demo as an opportunity to beta test the game as well. Totally. We need to replenish our supply of so there is a lot of running around to do. 
Uh, but there are options to avoid that. For example, I could have used Return to Car from the main menu, which would have teleported us straight back to this place, albeit with a loading screen. And later on, we'll be able to just drive the car all over the place, wherever we want to. We can do fast travel and we can use chocobos. So there are ways around of the otherwise lengthy uh, treks that we would have to do. And before we speak to the tipster, let's go ahead and have a look at this other quest that we picked up. Since we can now have up to 10 hunts active at any one time, which is something I'm not used to. The last time I played Final Fantasy XV, you still had the one hunt max limit, which always felt like uh, a limitation that should never have existed in the game, really. But I suspect that was always more of a technical limitation than anything else and didn't get infinite stamina then. Interestingly, actually distant, is that a lot of people have claimed that those, or a lot of people that have had problems with the benchmark test have claimed that the game has actually run, uh, you know, substantially better than the benchmark itself. So for those of you that have ran the benchmark and got a low score, try downloading the demo anyway and see how you get on with it. I was thinking and hoping that as well, CMS, because you're right, the launch of Final Fantasy XII was pretty spot on. The game ran perfectly in many, many cases. Yeah, of course, there was people with issues. But for a new release, those were quite few and far between. That said, I suspect Final Fantasy XV is a port that's going to require much more uh, work to it because it's just a much bigger game and a more uh, demanding game. So hi guys, welcome to those joining us over the last few minutes or so. We're playing Final Fantasy XV, the Windows Edition here. Or at least what's available of the Windows Edition at the moment, which is the first chapter. Uh, but that does include the optional hunts as well, which we're doing now. And we're taking on a level 8 hunt. And I've actually got quite used to the battle system, I think, having played it on the PS4. At first I was unsure about it. I wasn't a big fan, I was a bit worried about the game in fact, once I played episode Duskai. Which was a demo before the game came out on PS4. And the combat system was so uh, radically different than previous Final Fantasy games. I wasn't that hyped about it. But now that I've got used to it, I do actually enjoy using it. Yeah, sometimes camera angles can be annoying. Such as there, we couldn't really see what was going on. That's good then, Greg. Yeah, I think that's important for developers to remember, isn't it? To cater to a wide range of computers. I mean, it makes sense because they want to sell more. Going for it. It's all very well, you know, being able to have a game run at 4K and designing and developing a game so that it runs at 4K. But not everyone has the graphics power to do that. Um, I think you can run it without an internet connection distant. But you'll just need an internet connection. I think the first time you play it, just so Steam uh, can, uh, you know, activate it and stuff. But then you can run Steam in offline mode and it should still play. The only thing is there are some multiplayer elements to the game. The full game, not to the demo. Which I'm guessing you just won't be able to use at all. But hopefully the rest of the game should be fine. At least that's how most Steam games work, so I am just assuming that, I will be honest, I could be wrong. 
but that's an educated guess more than anything. So we're going to just use that return to car option. No, we're not. I don't know why that's blanked out to us now. Not the time for horseplay. My hand slipped. But in all fairness, now that I've fiddled about with my settings and stuff, the game is running really quite smoothly. I'm getting a constant 60 frames per second, and I have limited the game to 60 frames per second because of uh, streaming to YouTube and Twitch. If you're not seeing 60 FPS, if it's a little bit jaggedy to you as you uh, watch the stream, that's more to do with the bandwidth, I think, of the stream. But for me on my monitor, it's as smooth as butter. Yeah, most games are region locked, distant, on Steam. I mean, when I say most games, most of the uh, AAA games generally can be region locked. Well, I say most, a lot of them are. I think Final Fantasy XII is as well. Hard. Indeed. Hey, want to hit up the crow's nest? Is it not available in your region then, Distant, at all? Yeah. What region are you from? I'd have thought it would have been available in some... In pretty much every region, actually. Welcome. Welcome back. I mean, it's only the demo that's available now for everybody anyway. The game itself isn't coming out until March the 6th. I'll tell you what, the fact that we can pick up multiple hunts now is just going to be such a huge quality of life change. I'm really looking forward to my full playthrough of the PC version, just mainly because of that change. One thing I would really love to see as well, although I know it's not going to happen, is for the DLC content to be integrated into the main story. I do, you know, like the fact that Square continues to develop the game and the story of the game since that was lacking in many areas when the game came out. But unfortunately, it's all accessed from the main menu separately. It's not actually built into the game where, you know, it would take place. Which is a little bit annoying. And I'm pretty sure that Dave should be here, an NPC that gives a quest, and he's not. So maybe there is some side quest content you can't do in the demo, either that... Or I'm missing something that means he's not normally there and I'm just forgetting. The best thing I like about this game... I guess probably just the way you can... Explore more than in previous Final Fantasy games and... Uh, just do so much optional content and really level up your team. Making them more powerful than you... Uh, otherwise normally would. One thing I do like in role playing games in general is leaving the main story to the side while I concentrate on just uh, doing optional content and, and powering up the party. Thank you. Buy a few potions there. We can see as well if there's any soundtracks available. Memories of Final Fantasy 2. So we can have our photo taken here. Uh, let me get this shot. Oh, Fern Gully, right. yes you can, as long as you've updated the game. I get a horse. So, originally the console version of the game would only allow you to pick up one hunt at a time. You would have to complete that hunt or abandon it before selecting another. But in a recent patch, uh, that was changed so that you can actually pick up up to ten hunts at any one time. And that is going to be the default system for the Royal Edition and the Windows Edition. So a very, very, you know, sought after improvement and update to the game, which really should have been there from the beginning, uh, but at least it is now. So. Hey, who's Hi folks, that? welcome to those joining us on the stream here. So we did have a few problems to start with, and I had to restart, but hopefully things are coming through just fine now. 
And so far, we seem to be uh, having things run quite smoothly. The graphics are nice. The FPS is decent. I've not had any lags or, or dropouts or anything like that in terms of frames. So I'm quite satisfied with how things are running so far. I know a few people have had issues with trying to play this on their computers. The one issue I have had, which isn't going to come through for you guys, is screen tearing. The screen tearing keeps coming back and I don't know what's causing it. I've got V-Sync turned on, though it happens when it's both on and off. And it is quite noticeable. It probably won't come through on stream because screen tearing is a monitor issue. So unless you're actually using my monitor, then you won't see it. Uh, but I am noticing it and I wish, uh, you know, I didn't have to. So hopefully that'll be fixed for the main release. Hello, Eric. Howdy to you. Uh, good morning or good afternoon. It's uh, half three where I am here in the UK in the afternoon. So, we do get a lot of time zones from users using the stream, which is great to see, actually. Pretty awesome the way the internet does bring people together like that from all over the world, isn't it? And we're supposed to be now heading over to the Golden Key, was it? Which is actually down south. And the map is looking so different. It did not look like this at all uh, in PS4. I'm sure it didn't. Everything in order. So we'll fire up the uh, auto drive here. And we can change our music. We've got the Final Fantasy IV soundtrack going at the moment. For our next story, Lady Luna Freya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express. Just whizzing through here so I can see what other soundtracks we've got. Final Fantasy VII. Nor the pride I take in my betrothal. Playing a part in this historic mission. Thank you. Good Oh, the Genova soundtrack, or the Genova theme, was always one of my favourites from Final Fantasy VII. Oh, you savage, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? 7.30, is that 7.30 in the morning, I take it, Eric? Uh, it does not Final Fantasy, unfortunately. What's that? So the demo has all of the content, minus perhaps some side quest content from Chapter 1. But it does have all of the story content. Now, the ability to upgrade to the Regalia Type D, which is the off-road car, is, an, is from a quest which comes later on, after Chapter 1. Now, on the PS4 and the Xbox versions of the game, you could get the Regalia Type D by speaking to Cindy, but on the Windows edition, there's now an actual quest involved that unlocks that ability for the Regalia, so it's far more integrated into the story. The only thing is you can't do it immediately. Here we are. Nice. So we're at Golden Key now. I was hoping to do some of the side quests as well that Dave had for us. Uh, but he wasn't present at the last destination. Better hurry. Feature on the wedding. So it's possible I've just forgotten something with how to make him accessible. But it's more likely I'm thinking at this point that there are just some quests you cannot do in the demo. She's gonna be an absolute not hello and welcome. See if he's got any musics to sell. Thank you kindly. We hope to see you again. So this is always a long run down this pier. But I'm just going to have a look out of here. See what the water looks like. It's looking pretty decent. I don't know how it compares to the console version. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, 
Oh, okay, Final Fantasy 188. Are you going to try the PS... Sorry, the PC version, or are you going to try the Royal Edition or something? By the way, guys, if you have the console version, you don't have to buy uh, the Royal Edition. You can just purchase the Royal Pack, although I don't think a price has been announced for it, and that will bring you all of the new content that comes Welcome with the Windows and Royal Editions of the game. Oh, I like this cutscene. We get to meet the mysterious character for the first time. The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, oh, Mr. Reflex. Oh, thanks for that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this as well. This is the demo, but I'm looking forward to the main game. The ceasefire is getting us nowhere. What's this? Some sort of souvenir? They make those? No. Consider it your allowance. Huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? Man of no consequence. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. At the risk of going into spoilers, which I am trying to avoid here, what that guy said about the poor you just know I'm when sure that character says a man of no consequence that he is anything but a man of no consequence. And I do love the way that that story arc and character arc unfolds throughout the game. Yeah, it's a little bit predictable at times, but I mean, it's Final Fantasy. We can't really hold that against it. We expect that, don't we? Welcome to the Mother of Pearl. We use the freshest fish in every dish. Was the cat not there either, Sabrina? I didn't actually look for that. I think there's a few things missing, guys, but that's because this is the demo. So the story content is here, and a few of the hunts are available for us to have a go at for chapter one. But it seems that some of the side quest content is missing. You do know this is a restaurant. Will somebody just confirm if the map has changed? Because I could just be going mad, but I am sure that the map does not look quite like this in the normal game. And if it doesn't, I don't know whether they've changed it for the demo or if this is the new map we're getting or what. Lineup. We can go ahead and accept another hunt. There's only one here, unfortunately. Much obliged. Remember well, I've got it pre-ordered, Eric. I mean, it might be worth trying the demo first, but if it's working okay for you, if you've tried the demo, then I don't see why the main game wouldn't. But when it comes to ports from Square Enix, you never know. Sometimes you can get something decent, like with Final Fantasy XII. Sometimes things can be uh, anything but. And a few people have had issues with this demo. But I've got to be honest, after a few settings changes so far, it seems to be okay for me. I'm just going to teleport back to the car so we can take on that quest. That we just picked up. Oh, I'm not sure actually, Sabrina, if you can fish. Maybe we can try that. Uh, I'm going to hurry up though over to the hunt. Mainly because I would like to try and do that before we run out of the buff here. Oh, Justin, thanks for subscribing on YouTube. Appreciate that. Yeah, if you haven't already, guys, please do go ahead and subscribe or follow on Twitch if you're watching there. And... Hopefully then you'll be able to catch us on future live streams as well. Oh, brilliant, uh, Eric. Uh, oh, dear, don't read chat while you're uh, getting absolutely obliterated. Oh, sorry, guys, I'll check your messages in a moment. I'll just try and bring us out of this predicament here. So this is a level 11 hunt. We'll get Ignis to uh, buff Noctis's weapon. And we could even go ahead and try casting a magic spell here. I'll do a nice bit of damage there. 
So the controls are really messed up for me. I don't know why it's detecting my controller as an Xbox controller when it isn't. And a lot of the buttons aren't mapped correctly. I have to use the share button just to open up the map, which isn't right really. Uh, what GPU have I got? I've got a GTX 980 Ti. So it is a last gen GPU. Although one of the better ones from the last gen. But probably on par with about a 1070 from the current gen. And these guys are quite tough actually. Let's just try and get to safety here. So this ice magic that we made seems to do a nice job, although we just don't have a lot of it. You had problems with the Final Fantasy IX port, did you, Greg? Oh, that's uh, a strange one then, isn't it? Because you'd have thought that would have run okay. It can't be too hard bringing that to the PC, surely. I'm trying to get a few attacks in while they're frozen. Look at that, we're doing a lot more damage while they are. Oh, let's try and move out of the way of uh, death. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be streaming tonight, Abhijit. Depends if my wife goes out or not. If she does, I won't be able to. But if she doesn't, then I should be streaming later today. Uh, or later tonight, I should say. But if not, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Well, I'll be streaming tomorrow either way anyway. I'm just trying to get into a good range here to cast this ice magic. What is going on with our party? They've all been hit by something. Have they been hit by the ice attack that we just did? Oh, hello, Joel. Was you here early when we had those issues, were you? Yeah, I fixed that. That was really annoying, wasn't it? To be honest, I don't know how I fixed it. I literally just started the software again, closed it and opened it up again. My recording software. So I didn't adjust the mic or anything. Oh, this was quite a big battle. But we've done it. Thought it would never end. So we'll head back. Uh, somebody wanted to know if we could fish in the demo. I guess we can have a quick look while we're at the fishing spot here. Although I don't think we've got a rod or anything at the moment. Fun. I've not. Play, have I played Final Fantasy 13 on Steam? I don't think I have. What about it? Hello there. Come to fish the deep blue sea? Well, I think you can fish because you can purchase the bait and stuff. And we have got some already. So let's go and have a look. They knocked. That looks like a fishing spot. Serious? Yeah, you can fish. Outside the Crown City. I'm not going to bother at the moment, though. Here. Only one way to find out. Quit. Yes, stop fishing. But hopefully that answers the question for you, uh, Sabina. So it does seem that some content is available in the demo here, and some isn't. So the cat does appear to be missing. Unless that appears later, but I think it should be there straight away, shouldn't it? But it does seem that some of the hunts and that are still available, so we've been doing a few of those as well. They fixed the magic so it doesn't hurt your team. Well, that's what I thought. 
Uh, but I cast that magic spell then and the whole team were reeling in agony, weren't they? Because they were frozen. So I'm not sure how it interacts at the moment. Welcome to Golden Key. Okay, Abhijit. Well, thanks for stopping by today, mate. You take care. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, see you later, Zeric. Cheers, dude. Congrats. Uh, Timothy, there's been a bunch of updates, which I can't remember off the top of my head everything they did. What do you feel like but in particular, they changed things like being able to have multiple hunts active at any one time, as opposed to only being able to have one active. Uh, there's been changes to the regalia, so you can go off-road with it, although you do need to upgrade it, and I haven't done that on the demo because you can't. And various other upgrades and updates as well. In terms of the DLC, since that's what you asked about, the four major pieces of DLC have been uh, story content for Ignis, Gladiolus and Prompto, and also a multiplayer expansion pack called Conrades. All of that will be included with the Royal Edition and the Windows Edition on launch for... Well, I won't say for free, but included in the price. Till next time, ben. But there's also going to be more DLC being created this year. What gives? And into 2019. At least that's the latest I've heard over the past couple of days from the developers. According to my sources, the oh, thanks, Timothy. Given strict orders not to let Glad to hear that. Leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own. Oh, Vibro, Vibro, thanks. You liked the Final Fantasy VII and VIII playthroughs. Wonderful. The Crown Prince appreciate it. Hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish in exchange for a favor. Yeah, I really appreciate it, guys. When you. Uh, share your feedback on the walkthroughs you've been using. It means a lot to me uh, to know that those guides have actually helped people, so thank you for that. What do you want? Hey, I knew you'd come around. Let me see your map. The various dialogue options that you sometimes get when you speak to NPCs only affect who gets what experience from selecting those dialogue options. They don't really affect the story at all. you got to do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? Oh, they certainly are, Timothy. At least that's what the plan is at the moment, I believe. So for those just joining us, this is the demo of Final Fantasy XV on uh, Windows, the Steam version of the game. And it contains all of the content in Chapter 1 in terms of what you need to do for the story. And it contains some of the optional side quest content as well, such as hunts and fishing, etc. But it doesn't seem to include the main side quests that the NPCs have, such as Dave or the Cat and things of that nature. Greetings, sir. So I don't yet have 10,000 gil. And it is important to spend the night once it turns dark. Else you are going to struggle when it comes to uh, facing the demons that tend to spawn during the dark hours. You have a choice when it comes to getting back to the car from Golden Key. You can face the loading screen there, or you can run back. You ready to rumble, Knot? In King's Night? Oh yeah, I'm game. In that case, I'll join you. And the graphics have definitely received an overhaul for the Windows version of the game. I've got a video that I've uploaded. It's not gone live yet, though, but keep an eye out for it if you're interested. It's only about a minute long, uh, but it shows you some of the changes, especially with the hair and the grass textures between the PS4 and the PC versions of the game. And it is actually quite noticeable, especially on enemies that are really hairy. Good 
morning. Hi. So one thing we can do, which I haven't done yet, is just head to the Ascension menu here and spend some of the points that we've got. And eventually, one of the updates, since somebody was asking what the difference was uh, since the game's been updated over the last few months, is that you can actually now take control of Ignis, Gladiolus or Prompto in battle and they each control a little bit differently with various different abilities oh. and ways of attacking. Which is quite fun actually, it's quite interesting. Uh, but you do have to unlock the ability to do that. And I can't remember exactly where it is. But it's one of these options, maybe teamwork or something. Stats, exploration, magic, recovery. I think it's later on we get the option to do that. So let's go ahead and just increase some stats here. So Noctis can have two accessories now. Probably fairly pointless actually. I'm not going to bother with the others just yet. Exploration increases how much experience and ascension points you get. Although a lot of them are quite negligible. Some of them are quite useful. But a lot of them aren't, unfortunately. So we're out of AP now. We'll leave it. And one thing I will say is you will be driving a lot in this game. And if that's something that's going to annoy you, then it's worth just bearing that uh, in mind before you go ahead and take the plunge into the world of Final Fantasy XV. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. Hello, Donkey. Welcome to the stream. And welcome to those of you that have joined us over the last few minutes or so as we play through the demo of the PC version of the game, which was released yesterday. The game itself comes out March the 6th, so that's only next week now, not long to wait. And so far the demo has been playing quite smoothly, quite nicely. I'm getting a constant 60 frames per second. You might not be seeing that on stream due to bandwidth, but for me on my screen, I am. It's very, very smooth. Although a few people have been reporting various different issues. But more than anything, the demo is probably a better test even than the benchmark that was released a couple of weeks ago as to how your computer is going to handle this game. Yes, they do, Joel. The characters have their own abilities, their own limit type breaks, or type of limit breaks, they're not called that in this game. And they all have their own specialties as well, in terms of what weapons they use. I'm running this on a NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti graphics card. So it's a last generation graphics card. And at the moment I've got the game set to 1080p for the purposes of streaming. But it seemed to run quite smoothly even at 1440p as well. So for current generation, I think the 980 Ti is probably on par with about the GTX 1070. Oh. I'm not going to bother resting up. Eyes forward. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, see you later, Greg. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. That's it. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> I could taste test for you. I don't know why it's become a meme. The way that Ignis says I've come up with a new recipe. And it's always in the memes pronounced or spelt as recipe. But he does not sound like he says recipe to me. He does just say recipe, so I'm not sure where that's come from. A GTX 770. Have you downloaded the demo, have you, Donkey, to see how it works? Yeah, I play quite a few games on Steam, Big Gamer, although lately my time has been occupied mostly by Final Fantasy XII. 
I genuinely only get to play most games now that I'm recording for YouTube. If I'm not recording for YouTube, I'm generally not playing games. I'm doing uh, other real life stuff, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure that we're supposed to go over these rocks. I'm pretty sure, in fact, we missed out a whole section. Which is weird. I've not played it, mate, no. I've not played Trove. So I guess we just have to go around this side to the mineral deposit. That's better. So that red line that comes on the screen, the aggro bar, it expands. And when it fills the screen, that's when the enemy's seen you. If this enemy sees us, uh, I think it's game over since there's no way to take it down. Yeah, guys, if you're unsure about whether you can play Final Fantasy XV, grab the demo now before the game comes out. It's a good opportunity to see how the game's going to run. You could get the benchmark tool, but in my opinion, the demo's better because it is the game itself. I don't know if we can fall down here. Yeah, we can. Oh, it wakes the bird up though, so we'll get the heck out of here now. Oh, we'll leave our teammates to deal with that. <laughs> we'll just leg it to the car. I like the way you put that, uh, Joel. A secret of mana being euthanized. It's not. It's been uh, given some sleeping pills for a little bit, though. It was uh, just something I needed to take a break from for a bit, to be honest. So I'm not sure when I'll be getting back to it, but I haven't, you know, put it on the, uh, the death list. More just on the back burner for a while. Yeah, it's like an 18 gig download, the demo. Unfortunately, the game itself is going to be over 100 gig. So, the game's out on the 6th of March. Square Enix are not renowned for doing preloads. So I don't know whether they will for this game. I hope they do. But assuming they don't, I probably won't actually be playing it until the day after its release. Because it's going to have to spend the night downloading. Everything in order? Yep. All right. I don't actually know where they're going. Oh, hopefully they're going back. Yeah, they are. Go round in front. Oh, thank you, Sabrina. You're talking about the birds. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, sorry, guys. If I miss your chat messages. I think I was actually trying to stay alive at that point, wasn't I? Not wake the guy up when I... Uh, when you posted that. Yeah, did you hear? Yeah, take it you heard what I said there, Mustard. Yeah, the demo is about 20 gigabytes. And it contains all of Chapter 1, minus some optional side quest content. And the full game has been announced to be over 100 gigabytes in size. So we're going to go and speak to Dino now. Or Dino, whatever his name is. Give him the stone here. I probably won't be playing it anytime soon. I'll be honest, big gamer. Nice. Maybe some of the folks from chat would want to do that. I've just got uh, so much to do at the minute. That I'd just be letting you down if I said I'd do that, to be honest. I wouldn't want to give you any <laughs> false promises. But I will try and remember to look at it at some point. Yeah, it's very close to the original, Joel, the original game. And we've just been spoilt so much, haven't we? With more modern games introducing uh, more quality of life changes to them. Welcome to Golden and I'd never actually played the original myself. So I didn't appreciate it in that sense, as many would that would play the remake. 
But don't get me wrong, I did enjoy it, and I do want to go back to it because we got quite far and I'd like to complete it. But just at the moment, I do need to take a break from it. Uh, Fern Gully, I haven't decided yet. So I'm hoping to stream later on tonight. And I might play some Final Fantasy XII then. Nice work, kid. Sorry for giving you such a hard time. I just had to get uh, off to school. Okay, donkey. You understand, don't you? You see, I'm a reporter. Well, have a good time at school. Jeweler by night. This elusive little beauty is going to become a masterpiece. To make it up to you, I'll share a little scoop. That special coin you got? It commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one from me. Come back if you want to buy more. I doubt a souvenir like that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary citizen. Oh well, it's our pocket change now. By the way, that big bird that we saw, I'm pretty sure if that discovered us, it just flies away. You don't actually have to fight it or anything. Even though it looks quite intimidating, it actually isn't. Need to speak to this guy As again. Promised, I'm in the process of securing your ferry tickets right now. Told you, I'm a man of integrity. So in terms of the schedule then, since a few were asking, so let me know the plan is to... Back. I'll be finishing up soon this afternoon since I've already gone for over an hour and a half now. I know it only says an hour and ten, but that's because we did a stream earlier before that. And everything was going wrong with the mic and stuff. Uh, but I do want to try and get that fixed after this stream. I mean, I think it's running better now, but I just want to double check everything. And then we'll be streaming again, hopefully later tonight. But that's going to depend on a few factors. And also tomorrow as well. It's still saying ask Dino to get us on board. Have I missed something? Oh. Already? The ship won't arrive till tomorrow. How about you find a place to spend the night? It's bedtime. Yeah. Oh, you Dan? How you doing, mate? Good to see you. Probably won't be going for too much longer today. But I should be back later as well. I don't know whether we'll finish off the demo since it is only chapter one or whether we'll play some Final Fantasy XII on the next stream. Hmm, is this cut scene from the film? From King's Glyph, I think it might be. I'm fairly tired as well, uh, Dan, to be honest, but I'm always tired, to tell you the truth, so nothing new really there. Yeah, I don't know. This cutscene sort of feels out of place. It's more like a trailer, isn't it, for the, game, uh, for the film than anything else. By the way, guys, I don't know if anyone's interested, but I've heard YouTube have made some changes. And apparently the chat, the live chat that you see when uh, a streamer is streaming, is actually going to be available as part of the archive for the video afterwards. Which is something that I think has been needed for a long time. I'm pretty sure Twitch already does that, so it's nice to see that YouTube will be catching up with uh, that technology. What's that look for? It's in all the papers. What is? 
Insomnia. False. What? Well, is that cutscene a bit different? Is it Sabrina? Is it just like a little bit edited, is it, from the film? There was an attack. Or is there actual new footage in it? As treaty room tempers flared, blast lit the night sky. When the smoke about the Citadel had cleared, the king was found dead. No, wait. Hold on. We had no way of knowing. What? Knowing what? That the signing was last night. That insomnia. But the wedding, Altitia. I know, that was the plan. Yet the reports of the invasion are all the same. How could every headline in the kingdom be wrong? <sighs> Lies. Hmm. If only. <sighs> what else do we know? Only we can't be sure until we see it with our own eyes. And that means we go back to Insomnia. Might not be safe for us there. Might not be safe for us here. Turn back. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay then, Sabrina. I've only seen the movie once, to be honest with you. So, I do remember the film, but I don't remember exactly what about that cutscene uh, was different. It just felt very movie-ish, if that makes sense. Alright, so I think this is where we have to go towards the final part of the chapter now. So we get a nice lengthy loading screen. And this game is renowned for its lengthy loading screens. But I've got to be honest, the PC version hasn't been as bad as the PS4 version. And I'm not running this game on SSD either. I hope everyone's okay. A lot of good hoping's gonna do. You mustn't lose faith. Really? Can faith stop a fleet of Imperial Dreadnoughts? Just give it a rest. My old man had plenty of faith. Enough. Empire lied. They betrayed us. Conjecture gets us nowhere. We're searching for truth. Oh, wow. That's the first time I've actually had an issue with the demo. Looks like it's crashed, doesn't it? Yeah, Final Fantasy XV Windows Edition has stopped working. All right, then, guys. Well, I think on that note, I think we'll take a break for today. So I'll come back later. I'm not sure whether we'll go for... Final Fantasy 15 again, finish off the chapter, or go for Final Fantasy 12. But it looks like there's a crash there, whether that's common at that point in the game, or whether there was an issue with the computer, but all my other programs seem to be working okay. I can see the live stream is actually still active, and my microphone's still working. So we'll finish things off there. Yeah, thanks for stopping by today, Peritin. And thanks for joining us today, guys, those that came onto the stream. Oh, we played the demo for three hours now, apparently. But yeah, all right then, folks, I'm going to finish off there. So thanks for joining us, and hope to see you guys later. Take care.